So in this video, we've got to find the position of the center of mass of three particles of mass 2 kilos, 3 kilos, and 5 kilos placed at 0, 6, 5 minus 4, and minus 3, 2, respectively. OK, so it probably makes sense for us to draw a diagram just so we can see where these points are and to make sure that the answer that we get for the center of mass makes sense. So, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. OK, so we've got 0, 6, which will be here. So that's my first particle. Let's call that particle A. Uh, we have 5 minus 4, so 5 minus 4, so somewhere here. So that's my particle B. And then minus 3, 2, uh, 1, 2, 3, 2, so somewhere here. Let's call that particle C. So you would probably be expecting that your centre of mass is going to be somewhere here. OK, that's what you were probably expecting. OK, so let's see how this works out. So I'm going to do it as a weighted average in a table as we've done the previous examples. So A, B, C. Each one has a mass. Each one has an X coordinate and a Y coordinate. OK, so what we have at this point is A has a mass of 2 kilos, then we've got B as a mass of 3 kilos, and C has a mass of 5 kilos. A is located at 0, 6. B is located at 5 minus 4. And C is located at minus 3, 2. And what we'll do is we'll look at the mass times x and the mass times y. So we'll get an average, a weighted average for the x and the weighted average for the y's. And they'll be the coordinates of my centre of mass. So we'll have m times x and we'll have m times y. So 2 times 0, 3 times 5, 5 times minus 3. We're going to have 2 times 6, 3 times minus 4, and then 5 times 2. So the totals I'm interested in are the total mass, which is 10, the total of m times x, which is 0, and the total of m times y, which is 10. So the average of the x's is 0 divided by 10, so 0, and the average of the y's is 10 divided by 10, which is 1. So that means that the centre of mass is at 0, 1. So the centre of mass is there. And that makes sense uh, given the diagram that we drew.